five, six, working on his sixth, I believe. They're at so close to that six o'clock. The six o'clock, natural. And Kanata, however, is ahead on upgrades. Armor one, weapons two. Yeah, they're Violet actually picking that up. And I think Kanata's actually spotted that. He might actually manage to cancel it if, if he tries. Meanwhile, now Violet just trying to control, control the middle. He's doing a good job of that. He's kind of controlling the middle. But Kanata's finally ready to push out. Bunch of siege tanks in there. Coming to defense position. Too many Zealots, tiny tanks. Not really managing to utilize them all enough. Not too great a harassment there at 9 o'clock position. Violet's going to need to pull off a nice attack. He's going to need to get some nice stasis fields off to really do any damage here. Uh, Kanata, though, nice split. Not running them all out at once uh, they're not but they're not really running out piecemeal either just in a nice little formation uh, vultures go in first engaging the dragoons taking some of the fire engaging fire with them then the tanks come in from the back forcing the dragoons back and now we have vultures here at the second position the nexus is gonna come up but how long will it actually stay up uh, Violet has most of his forces on the right side, and it seems like Kanata's just going to completely bypass out 6 o'clock base. He's just going to barrel into that natural expansion, uh, which has been which has been completely, uh, completely cleared up. Rather, not the natural expansion, the uh, mineral only, one of the big lifelines there. And from then on, maybe move south. I think moving south would actually, rather than moving towards the natural expansion, not mining at all on him at this point, I think actually barreling down towards the 6 o'clock position would be a slightly smart idea. Just completely deny. Does have tanks there at the 6 o'clock. Going to go in there and deny some... Resources on the opposite side. Do see Violet go for a counterattack. The command strike again floated off. So uh, Kanata actually going to lose one of his own bases. The Nanoka base is going to go down completely. Command strike going to float off. Might actually survive. But this base is not going to be giving him any resources for quite a while. Semi is actually coming off the line to do nothing. But uh, Kanata is still doing a nice job. Putting down a lot of pressure. He is being counterattacked very heavily though. You see Violet with the heavy economy has just been pumping out Dragoons on all sides like crazy. Has some Archons in there, but now cannot Violet's uh, cannot. I'm sorry, he's going to be barreling into uh, Violet's next expansion. I actually think this wasn't the best idea. I actually think going for the six o'clock would have been better. He still has some units that to harass, but I think just going, uh, keeping, splitting his forces a little bit more would be a better idea. Violet's still looking like he's in a lot of trouble. He's still trying to get a full-on counterattack. It's going to go in full balls in on that 12 o'clock natural. And that might actually work out. Doesn't seem like Kanata has much in the way of defensive force. Has some siege tanks on that high ground, but they're being stasis. Beautiful stasis there by Kanata. Losing a lot of his resources in there overall. Is going to push Violet back just because it's a nice wall, but lo lost two of his bases. And now he's not really getting much in the way of resources at all. Not much in the way of resources at all. And it looks like he's really in trouble. I think he's only mining from his main at this point. Oh man, it's not a good position to be in. Not a good position to be in at all. Man, oh man, three bases lost. Bisu smiling there. My God, Kanata, how did you mess this up? Because he has no mining. Sure, he did a little bit of damage. Now he's been forced to pull out, try to do a contain. He bit, did pick off the natural, which wasn't mining at all. Did pick off the mineral only. Give me another look at that six o'clock, please, people. Yes, it did pick up the six o'clock main. The natural still alive. I think it actually might be kicking it as well. But Violet, I feel, still has just m way more troops on the map. Way more everything. Nice siege. Oh man, storms. Siege storms. That sounds scary. Yeah, tanks that. Sh yeah, just they've developed a new type of tank which emulate Protoss technology. It shoots out storms. <laughs> scary shit. So as you see here, Kanata just being forced to completely pull back with his entire force and just slowly being picked off. I thought he had a bit of a control on this thing, but really just not enough resources. Going to try to desperately re-put re his bases back up, gets an EMP off, but more Arbiters still have energy out there. Still the stasis come up, and now Kanata in full defense mode. Everything gets stasis, just doesn't have enough at all. Forge is going to be able to completely put through, push through. It has only his main to mine and not really giving me many resources at all. Has no reinforcements. He And Kanata has done a great job. Uh, Violet really only has his main and that upper right hand mining at this point. But all of his forces that could be used for this defense, defense are stasis. Violet is ready to take them all out. No new bases are coming up. No new resources. Kanata, they're forced to actually cancel the new... Their natural expansion was trying to retake. It actually wouldn't have given him much. I'm sorry, that secondary, but he was trying to retake, and that actually wouldn't have given him any, not many resources at all. Is that natural that he really needs? Has some sieging here at the back that can re-siege. Nice defensive matrix, but look at that huge number of those dragoons. They can just kill everything. Violet might actually get pushed back here. Way too much dragoon blood. The defensive matrix keeping that tank alive for way longer than he should have. And unfortunately for Violet there, cannot actually unstasis at just the right time for him. But still, barely managed to defend his main, but losing all of his lifelines. 
and he doesn't really have much at all. I don't think he can pump out any more troops. He needs to pump out an additional command centers. He needs to get out new bases. That's what he's working on right now. His natural expo, but I just feel that Violet has too many, too much of a presence overall. He has seems like he has blips all over the place. He has the capacity to take out something else. And I think Kanata right now just needs to go in. Just needs to go in. Try to finish this off because if he tries to play an economic game at this point, I don't think he's going to do too much. He still has some forces there at the south. It seems like he's going to want to try to play a little bit defensive. Has some siege tanks coming out there. Has a bunch of mines in there. Going to try to deny additional bases by, by sieging up. But I'm not quite sure if playing defensive at this point is really going to help him out because Violet can just control the map. He can control. He can play uh, he knows that Kanata can't really move out. He knows Kanata cannot at any point be aggressive unless he goes for just straight out all in. I think he's just not going to be able to play aggressively at all. Violet does have a much larger force. He's been able to rebuild it much quicker. He's dropping now as well. And there are a lot of mines across the map. Sure, a lot of vultures trying to plant down. He's also trying here to come here to the upper right in position to kill another lifeline of Violet because he has, he, despite the, the, the position he's, that Kanata's in, is not as desperate as it could have been if he hadn't done the damage he did at the south. If he hadn't done the damage he did at the south, he, would, he wouldn't be alive anymore. But here is a big problem. Big drop. Zella and a bunch of DTs. They're going to take out several supply depots. Just a big move across the map as well. Clearing up a bunch of mines. A few siege tanks and vultures going to be able to come up to the upper right end base. But they're going to be defending here. These forces just barreling up from the low ground. And uh, these zealots, unfortunately, because the eggs and all all, only not really going to be able to do too much targeting. Those vultures blocking. Nice stasis coming in there as well. And overall, Violet is doing too much damage all across the map. Not going to be able to push in, in the ground with just Dragoons into that natural expansion because of the siege tank. But still, the damage done. A few more supply depots going down. Supply depots is not something Kanata should be wasting money on at this point. Violet just be trying to get some more bases going, get some more uh, economy going. That mineral only would be a big help. Not mining much at the upper right hand, not mining, mining much on his on his base. He still doesn't have much in the way of resources, but he just seems to have have more saved up. Seem to seem to just have more re units to pump out when he really needed them. Well, Kanata needs to like slowly, grudgingly, at an extremely slow pace get his army back up and now just to wait for these vultures and tank to unstay so they can all die. Overall bad position for Kanata to be in because he has almost no map presence. The only thing he can afford to really get out there at any quick measure are vultures and they just don't come out fast enough. Does have that natural expansion. I think it's the only resource getting at this point. So at least that's a little bit of something that's keeping him alive. And uh, Violet was thinking of retaking this 6 o'clock. That's not going to happen. So Violet does have pretty good upgrades. Weapons 3, armor 1. And on the opposite side, let me get you. Let me get you that in a minute. <laughs> as soon as we get a, po uh, a portion of that, as you can see, Kanata defending with a whole bunch of tanks back home. Also has a Goliath, but I just don't think he's building much in the way of tanks now. He just doesn't have the resources to do so to get some more tanks out there. And with those arbiters in place, it's especially difficult because those stasis from Violet, the stasis is from Violet during that counterattack straight that killed almost everything Kanata had. Those stasis were beautiful. Allowed him to press in. He just went in, stasis half the army, if not more, and just killed stuff. He ignored the stasis units, which in the end, you know, was what forced him to pull back. But he went in, he stopped the units for a little while, just so he can go in there and do the damage, do what needed to be done. I missed the Arbiter. The Mothership is a sad, sad replacement for it, in my opinion. It's a cool unit, but yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, come on, it's super slow and it's huge and it flies around and I don't know what the hell's going on. So at this point in this game, I really feel it should have ended by now, but the longer the game goes on, the slightly better Kanata's chances become of possibly eking out a win here, although I still think Vulture, uh, Violet, Violet's, Violet's hold is firm and strong. Some of these vultures can be able to get all the way, just right to run up. Come on, come on, come on, get up there, get up towards that 12. And it's not going to happen. Way too many cannons all over the place to prevent that from happening. See a lot of defensive cannons there just prevent from drops and stuff, even though I think they slow down the mining a little bit. Violet's thinking more, you know, better safe than sorry. I'll sacrifice a little bit of minerals just to make sure I can keep my, my, keep my army mobile. It means I don't have to always run back home. So weapons 3 and armor 2 upgrades here for his opponent, Kanata, who's trying to retake the 9 o'clock position for himself yet again. And we do see both players getting a kind of a ball of forces at this point. Dragoons and Zealot heavy alongside 
uh, that Arbiter. And I think really the states are working to help him. He doesn't have any High Templar out there. He had some earlier. I don't think he has any more. At least I don't see them. And really with those tank lines, if he doesn't have any High Templar, he's going to have a hard time breaking through them unless he has that stasis and get some decent stasis off. Is he going to try to go for it? seems like yes, he's going to go for recall straight into this new 9 o'clock. Knows he needs to cripple the economy before it even starts to get up. All the Goliaths expecting the Arbiter from the south. Beautiful move from Violet. Cannot, unfortunately, yeah, just kind of betting that the forces come from one location. But here's your reinforcements out there for Violet. Beautiful maneuver. Bunch, bunch of those Goliaths and Vultures coming in here. Going to be able to mop up some of those forces, but uh, Violet's reinforcements should actually be able to help out enough. One EMP going up on the, on the uh, Archon. You can bitch your ass what happens when that happens. It does have one high template in there, but, you know, getting close enough to get some damage on those siege tanks, not quite enough. So Kanata losing that base, he's going to be forced to float away the command center. Uh, actually could just land that right back down since the location's safe again, but did lose a lot in that engage. Exchange lost some siege tanks, lost overall a lot of forces. Seems like Kanata's going to try to go for some sort of counter drops, trying to do some counter damage. Uh, trying to make sure this game doesn't get completely out of hand. Ah, uh, yep, that's not going to help. Oh, Storm, that definitely helps with that, although I'm not quite sure if that was necessary. But yeah, preventing any counter harassment is extremely important here for Violet because look at the bases, look what he's done. He's retaken the 6 o'clock main, he's retaken the mineral on the lower right hand, he's still mining at the upper, excuse me, he's still mining up the upper right hand position. Flash just sitting in there watching that. Come on, I won, don't make me play again, guys. Come on now. Do you think he feels that they are sufficiently ahead? But you can't count, uh, say... I still think this is T1. You can never count them out, though. This is... It's never over until it's over with T1. That's definitely the way that is. But, of course, the rivalry between these two teams is huge. And I still think uh, some of the other teams in the way are going to be able to add an interesting dynamic to it. We have Height Sparkies, which could... Which, if they still had effort, they would be a definite finals contender. They're a little less so, I find. Uh, without effort. But they have Alita. They just lack that little bit of... Zerg love, which is necessary. And another base going to be picked up. The mineral only at the 12 card position. Also going to be picked up by Valor. I'm not quite sure how well he's going to be able to defend it, but just Kanata trying. Kanata just does, does not have the maneuverability to just put himself across the map. Sure, he has a lot of vultures running out there trying to do a little bit of something, something. But his economy is in total shambles. He's only mining from that natural right now while Valid's getting a bunch of resources going. Just enough to push up and get a huge army going. Also picking up the 6 o'clock natural expansion yet again. Did cancel the 12 o'clock mineral only. But that's just playing safe. That's just being careful. The commander mule has been replanted down there at that secondary. That's going to get floated off again. It's just going to fly around. Wasn't really giving not any resources. Think, since, I think Violet's actually going to want to push in. Maybe just pick off the commander and make sure it doesn't become pesky later. One EMP goes off on those Dragoons and Zalots. So that might make them just a little bit less viable for battle. Still going to be a storm cut on top of those vultures. EMP did not get... Did not catch that High Templar. Second EMP catches the tanks and the science vessels. And the High Templar actually stays alive for a little bit while. But still, I think this is going to be the fun. Very close to the final stage of the game. I think just Violet has way too strong a hold. He has a huge army. has a huge force just waiting outside of his natural expansions. Waiting to push in and just trying to do a little bit of damage to what he has on the ground right here. He has been going to be closed off by mines. So this little commando force that he has in there is just going to have to do as much damage as it can before it dies. But still, Kanata can only just hunker down, play defensive. And unfortunately for him, Violet now has two routes into his base. Sure, there are a lot of mines he has to get through. But Violet has two routes into his base. He doesn't have to barrel into that natural expansion. He doesn't have to go there. He can just go into the back door. And that's why I, one reason I find this map so interesting. Because there is a big... Once it's opened by either player, there's a huge back door to to make use of into your opponent's base. Right now here, Kanata's pushing out. That's a mistake. All the mines have been cleared up. The tanks are going to be able to siege up and hold this position a little bit for, I think, oh, man, but looking at that, yeah. Thought a storm. Hey, it could be a storm, but yeah. Just the amount of economy that Kanata had there, just nowhere near to close enough to be where it needed to be. And Violet, unfortunately, is managing to churn out enough units and push them into the attacks. Because as soon as Kanata was counterattacked, that ha that heartily, that was it for him, really. He had to play defensive the rest of the game. He didn't get that he big push happened, but then he had to retreat with over half of his forces and lose them. And it was all just, eh. So you have 3-1 for KT, but you can't count out T1 yet because they still have Best and Bisu to come. So we're going to see what happens. Still in it, folks. GG, guys. Ranching out those listening. Hope you enjoyed.